In the last lecture, we completed basics of periodic and aperiodic signals. In this lecture, I will explain how to calculate the fundamental period T0 of a periodic signal. We already know the condition for periodicity in case of continuous time signals. Xt is equal to Xt plus minus small n T0. And for simplicity, let's say small n is equal to 1 and we are not subtracting T0 from T but we are adding T0 to T. So Xt is simply equal to Xt plus T0. We will use this condition to calculate the fundamental time period T0. Let's take one example. Signal Xt is equal to A0 e raised to power j omega naught t. The first thing is to find out Xt plus T0 and it is simply equal to A0 e raised to power j omega naught instead of having t we will have t plus t naught so inside the bracket t plus t naught now by using this condition we will have a naught e raised to power j omega naught t equal to a naught e raised to power j omega naught t plus t naught a naught a naught will cancel out and we have e raised to power j omega naught t equal to e raised to power j omega naught t multiplied with e raised to power j omega naught t naught e raised to power j omega naught will cancel out and we have e raised to power j omega naught t naught equal to 1 now from Euler's equation from Euler's equation we have e raised to power jx which is equal to cos x plus j sin x and let's say x is equal to 2 pi small k so e raised to power j 2 pi small k is equal to cos 2 pi k plus j sin 2 pi k cos 2 pi k is simply equal to 1 j sin 2 pi k is equal to 0 because sin 2 pi k is 0 therefore e raised to power j 2 pi k is equal to 1 so we can write e raised to power j omega naught t naught equal to e raised to power j 2 pi k because it is equal to 1 and on comparison we can see that omega naught t naught is equal to 2 pi k or we can say t naught is equal to 2 pi k divided by omega naught if k is equal to 1 the fundamental time period t naught is equal to 2 pi divided by omega naught so this is the answer of this problem and you can see how we have calculated the fundamental time period t naught using the condition for periodicity with few simplifications the first thing you have to do is to find out x t plus t naught after this you have to equate x t and x t plus t naught performing few simple mathematical operations you can easily calculate the fundamental time period t naught this type of signal is called as non composite signals the signals having more than one functions or signals are called as composite signals for example if there is signal x t which is equal to x 1 t plus x 2 t this type of signal is called as composite signal and calculation of fundamental time period for this type of signal is little bit complicated you have to follow certain steps to calculate the fundamental time period you need to calculate the fundamental periods of the signals individually and after performing certain operations you can tell whether signal xt the composite signal is periodic or not in the next lecture we will deal with fundamental period of composite signals this is very important topic and we will solve few examples to understand how to calculate the fundamental period of a signal having more than one signals. So see you in the next lecture.